Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Jira Cloud tutorial, we will learn how to add task in Jira. Now before we get into the details of adding the task or steps to add the task in Jira, let's first understand the issue hierarchy that we have looked into the previous tutorial as well. So uh, the task sits in a similar uh, at a similar level basically as the story and bug in the default scrum project or uh, these are the default issue type that get created or you get those when you create a scrum project so epic is a big piece of work which can have multiple stories within it uh, and epic can span multiple iterations story will most probably be finished within the iteration right so that's how the stories or a bug or task should be ideally in any scrum project now adding a task in jira is very simple process and it's exactly similar as we have seen for the epic and user story but before we go ahead and add the task let me explain you what could be the task in jira or in any scrum project so basically when we say story a story is something or some requirement which when implemented will have a working software which fulfills end user needs or the business needs right but the task is a piece of work within scrum or kanban which is basically sort of enabler to get you started to work on some story so if, for example you want to configure development environment to start working on the story so that could be one of the tasks or you want to configure proxy settings in the test environment or you want to install api testing tool on the test server so these all tasks installing web automation tool on the test server these all can be categorized as tasks instead of stories and that's why there is a separate issue type in jira available for you to create tasks so that you can segregate the actual piece of work that will bring some value uh, to the end user when implemented which is basically a user story and the task which is an enabler or the piece of work that needs to be done but doesn't directly add the value to the working software which will be produced uh, when that story will be implemented right so any other or any uh, piece of work that is not uh, directly required to build that particular piece of user story can be configured or categorized as the task and you can create task in Jira separately okay so for example configure development environment how you can add this task in Jira simply go to the project right so for example you want to select the project first um, you can select the project so I'm in the classic scrum project now within this project if I'll click on create button here so you have the create button so simply click on create button and the create window will open so create issue window will open and here you can select the issue type as task right so you have different issue type so previously we had seen to select the story now we can select the task and in the summary you provide the summary of the task in the description what all needs to be performed or the details that you want to basically uh, go through to achieve that particular task if there are any attachment you can attach those then rest is all same as it was in user storage the reporter if this task is blocking any issues right so you can select the linking options available here so if say for example this task needs to be completed before a developer can start working on any particular user story so for example before I can start working on buy registration with Google account user story, I need to have my development environment configured, right? So as a developer, I can simply say, I need to do this task first before I can start working on this particular user story and then assign it to myself. And because I'm going to configure this particular development environment, if somebody else is going to configure this development environment, then I can assign it to somebody else within the team. Then if there are any labels, I'll co cover labels in detail in later uh, tutorials. Then Epic link, if this task is linked to any Epic, I can link to the Epic as well. So for example, this links to this portal registration. So portal registration 
uh, I can do the epic link. If this task needs to be performed in the current sprint, I can specify the sprint, the active sprint uh, here based on the project. Okay, so you have to choose the correct sprint, which is part of this particular classic scrum project. I won't choose it now and simply click on create. If you want to create another task, simply check this box and this window will keep open and you can create another. So when you click on create another, all the important information uh, is, is still, you know, uh, like captured. So for example, you know, assignee uh, epic link, you can see that these information are persisted uh, when you check, check uh, on this create another uh, box here. So for the configuring fields, you have the option to disable or enable or basically see hide the fields that you don't want to see on this particular create issue case right so i'll choose all and simply cancel this so this is one way to add the task to your project right now you can also add the task from the epic right so for example i go to the roadmap and here i have this epic right so i can go to the epic detail okay so simply go to the epic detail and from the epic detail i can simply click on create issue in this particular epic and if i click on create issue in this epic from this drop down i select the task provide the detail of the task and click on create and the task will get created within this portal registration epic now i can edit this task later to fill more information there right so that's another way to go from the roadmap and do it then from the backlog also i can simply open this epic section right and i can create issue in the epic this is more of a traditional uh, project that you would have seen in the jira standalone version uh, if you click on create issue in epic it opens exactly same create issue window as we have seen when we click on this create button right so select the task type as uh, issue type as task and you can follow the same process to create the task so this is how you will do or create the task into the classic scrum project now let's go to the classic kanban project and see what is the difference there so if you go to the classic kanban project you will see exactly similar navigation similar um, almost similar you know like buttons so you simply click on create and you will see the issue type as task you will see a lot more details are similar in this particular page so you simply have to choose the task provide the summary and detail description and click on create but to create the uh, create the task in kanban project as well uh, from the epic as well so for example uh, from this particular epic i want to create task i can open this epic and then click create issue in this epic so this little icon and then select the type as task and provide the details here right so that's how i'll add the task into the classic kanban project in jira cloud going back to the next gen kanban and next gen scrum it is almost similar so this button is still there the simplest way to add the task in a next gen scrum uh, simply add the task from the drop down provide the details click on create and then from the roadmap so in the next gen scrum you will get the roadmap from the roadmap you can simply click on this child issue within the epic this plus icon and select the type as task and add the task within the epic right from the backlog you can go to the epic right so in the backlog you can enable this if you can't see this epic panel most probably it is because this is disabled in the next gen scrum so you simply go ahead in this drop down enable this epic panel and this will be visible and from the epic here uh, you can simply click on view all details it will open the epic detail and you will get this add a child issue icon which you can click select the type and add the task within this particular epic okay then you can go to the next gen kanban project right so we can go to next gen kanban project and from the next gen kanban project create button is still there select the type as task and then you can go to the roadmap from the epic you can simply click on add child issue select the type as task provide the details and add the task right 
so that's about adding the task and here from the board as well you can simply click on create issue and from this drop down you can simply select the type as task provide the detail and add on the board as well okay so in the next gen kanban project so there are many ways or many places where you can go ahead and navigate and add the tasks within jira cloud uh, and even in jira server because jira uh, or atlassian tools are uh, made in such a way so that they are very easy to um, use for the end user so say for example you are on the board you can directly add the task here rather than navigating to the create button going to the roadmap or even if you are in the issue detail and you feel like i want to add uh, a task in this particular epic when i'm viewing the detail of the epic i have the possibility to add the task right from there and that is why there are so many positions or so many places in the jira projects where you can add these issues from so i'm covering all these places so that you can be really comfortable and you know where exactly you can navigate to to perform the same functionality or add the task within jira projects so that's all for this tutorial hope you like it please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching